Hello YouTube, it's Drita Streeter, aka Drita Vibes, back with another video. So I promised everybody that I was gonna do fried chicken and macaroni and cheese, my homemade fried chicken, mac and cheese. So it doesn't cost that much to make this meal. This is my uh Mrs. Always Right. So I got it for my friend um to quill during the COVID shutdown. She sent them because we i thought i was getting married but i'm not but this is still really cute maybe i'll wear it naked for my next man and cooking it just buck naked okay let me get back on track so i got party wings cage free okay and then i got uh elbow noodles i'm gonna boil this whole thing i also got um just some vegetable oil you can get the cheap one um eggs Okay, for the mac and cheese, I got three different cheeses. I normally try to get all Tillamook because it's my favorite brand. But I got medium cheddar, Sargento sharp cheddar, mozzarella and provolone. And to fry the chicken, you guys, I don't know if you know about this, but if you know, you know, Louisiana chicken. All you have to do with this, um, I'm going to do it a little bit different, but um, with the chicken fry... You just put half a cup of uh, really cold water in it, like ice cold, and then dip the chicken in the batter. And you can use five teaspoons of this batter. And that, I'll probably use that or a little bit more. But I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of my tricks. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna get a big pot of boiling water for your mac and cheese. So that's that takes the longest. The mac and cheese takes longer than the fried chicken because it just has a couple more steps to it. So I like to do things by sight, you guys. So I'm just gonna fill the, I'll show you how much I fill the pan up. I know I'm always wearing this sweater. You guys, it's my favorite sweater. Plus since I've worn it so much, it's like really raggedy because I wear it to work out, lounge around the house and cook. So fried chicken kind of gets everywhere. I always have to mop afterwards. So, you know, um, wear something that you don't really care about unless you're trying to be cute then just try your hardest. It's gonna pop everywhere. Okay, so this is the pot I'm using, and this is about how much water. So almost to the top, but not really. And then a trick is to uh, so add a little bit of. Everybody's different with this too, so you know this is a Himalayan salt, pink Himalayan salt. I like to put this in the water. Okay, it keeps the noodles from sticking. And then a um, little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil. Okay, put that on. Put this a little bit in there. Everybody's different. Some people just use oil. Some people wait until it's boiling to add the oil. Some people just use salt. I put it in before. I don't think it harms anything. And uh, then I put the stove on high because I want it to boil super quick. <laughs> so the stove is on high right now. So that is for the mac and cheese. Now for the chicken, what I'm gonna do, okay, I'm gonna rinse the chicken and then I'm gonna bring out the seasonings I'm gonna use and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I'm gonna use on the chicken, pink Himalayan salt. I'm gonna use ground black pepper. I'm gonna use garlic and herb Mrs. Dash. I'm gonna use some chili powder. You can use it. Sometimes I use chipotle and I'm gonna use some cayenne pepper. Okay. So this is the wet seasoning. You dip the chicken in here first and then you dip it in the Louisiana dry seasoning. But before that, I'm a real big seasoning person. So I like to add extra. So I like my chicken spicy. So I'm gonna add some cayenne to it. Ooh. You can tell I'm, I'm, oh my God, I'm out. Ooh. It's because I took it to make somebody a chili powder, a, a cold elixir. They had a cold, so I mixed it with some garlic and uh, lemon and honey. What a waste of my cayenne pepper, huh? You boil it and put some ginger in it as well. And then it's like a tea that clears your nose and throat. Ground pep, black pepper. If you want, you can also season the dry seasoning for when you re-dip it. So, let's 
that's an option as well. I'm not like super picky about getting both sides of the chicken because I usually end up seasoning my chicken again when it comes out of the fryer. I'm a huge like seasoning connoisseur, kind of, kind of, kind of soir. I'm gonna do the Mrs. Dash. This is the garlic herb one. And I say, oh, we are breathing the texture of your skin. What do you guys think about these shades? Pretty prissy pieces, amazing shades. Bought some during COVID. If you want some, go to my Instagram at Jurita Vibes. That's J-E-R-I-T-A-V-I-B-E-Z. And you can get you some pairs. Um, tell her Jurita sent you. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do different. So in the wet seasoning, this is just gonna give it like a pop. Poppity pop, pop, pop. So this is the chicken right now. Okay, so in the wet seasoning, one egg. Drop it in there. Throw the shell away. Now, add some mustard. I go by eye again, so I'm gonna add that much, okay? Just a little. I know everybody's like, what's up with the mustard? It just, it's like a down south thing I learned and it's just good on fried chicken. It just gives it this weird pizzazz. So, um, the chicken will be fried last. Uh, so, um, I'm gonna let the seasoning sit on here. And then when the uh, oil, when the oil water is boiling for the mac and cheese, then I will put the mac and cheese together, show you how I do it, and then I'll start to fry the chicken. So, I'll be back y'all, mahalo. So it's boiling. We add the pasta. Mm. Ugh, it's so much pasta. I know, it's like, I put pretty much the whole thing, just a little bit left in here. So, now we're gonna let that get big. And once it's ready, then I'm gonna layer my mac and cheese with the cheese and then my seasonings. How would you like it if I do the things you do? Put you on, do not disturb and entertain these dudes. I'm a ride, I'm crazy and you'll never have a clue. Give another guy everything that belongs to you. I'm a call up Brian, I'm a FaceTime Ryan. I'm a text Lorenzo and I'm a leave you crying. Don't get it twisted, I could play this game too. How would you like it if I did the same to you, same to you, yeah. What y'all think about this new song I'm writing? All the things that you said you do, they were untrue. And everything you did was only good for you. You hurt me, you hurt me, and you know it's true, yeah. And I ought to smack your mama for having you. Oh. Rusty, but you guys get the idea. And I ought to smack your mama for having you. So let it go like that. Eventually we will slow down the water when the pasta, the macaroni um, noodles get bigger. See how it puffed up? So I turned the burner off. I'm gonna let this sit. Y'all, I got a knife. This, who else just grabs random stuff that they used to just stir stuff when they're already using it for something else? Um, let that just sit for like maybe five to 10 minutes so it'll get as big as it can. And then we're gonna drain it rinse it with some cool water let it cool off and then i'm going to show you how i make my mac and cheese okay i'm back so the pasta is ready but before i start layering i'm going to get two eggs whip it and then use some almond milk about half a cup to a cup like i said i do everything by sight so it's like this get two eggs this is gonna go in the pasta. Oops, whoops, whoopsie. It's gonna go in the pasta. Okay. And then I also 
So I'm gonna whip this first. I like to just whisk with a fork, it's not a big deal. Or you can use a whisker, whatever you prefer. So you just do that. Okay. And then pour about this much, and I use unsweetened vanilla almond milk. You can use regular milk if you want, about that much milk. So I would say that was like half a cup to a cup, probably more closer to a cup. And you mix that all together. And then I like to season this because I'm gonna pour it in the mac and cheese. So I'm gonna use some Himalayan uh, salt and some ground black pepper. Why is this so hard to come out? Ugh. This is always right. I miss this always right. Oh, by the way, I'm preheating the oven right now to 375 because that's what I'm going to cook this on the mac and cheese for maybe 30 minutes on 375. Okay, so I'm going to move this to the side and then we're going to get our mac and cheese. Well, our noodles. That's what it looks like when it's done. And we're going to layer this with the noodles. So I'm gonna, you can just use your hands, but I'm gonna use, let's see. I normally just use my hands when I'm layering it, but I'm gonna use this uh, spoon. I rinse this off with cold water, cause it's, uh, you don't want your hands to burn. These, are, these noodles are completely done. Okay, so that's the first layer. You can still kind of see the bottom of the pan. Now take your three cheeses, sharp cheddar. Get a good layer of that on there. Let's see. Get more. There you go. Y'all, it's so hard to film and cook by yourself, but you know what? It's okay. As tourist women, we figure things out. The mozzarella and provolone. And then sharp cheddar. Now what in the hell is burning? Better not be anything in this oven. Hold on. This is sharp cheddar. There's no, mm -hmm. I don't know. Now start another layer. Okay. And just keep layering it like this. I like to push it down a little bit. Add more cheese. The medium cheddar. Sharp cheddar. You guys, I'm always singing. <laughs> and then the mozzarella provolone. You can also buy the Tillamook cheese and shred it yourself if you have a cheese shredder. Um, but if you want to like save yourself some time, you can buy the pre-shredded um, cheese. I normally will shred it myself, but it's okay. I'll do that like on Christmas or Thanksgiving, whatever. Tastes usually the same, but um, some of my family members think that when I take you know an hour to shred all the cheese instead of just buying. The pre-shredded, they, they say it tastes better. I don't know. I can't tell the difference. So do what works for you. So there's another layer and more cheese. I'm gonna use a little bit less cheese because I want some for the top. And I'm gonna try and fill the macaroni as high as I can. So that's saying that my oven is ready now at 375. You can do that while you're doing this because then you um, just pop it in the oven and just wait for it all to just mix together. Let's get the corners. Corners. One more layer of mac and cheese. See, I knew I had too many, um, too much pasta. That's why I didn't put the little bit that was in the bottom. But this is going to be amazing. Here we go. All done. Press it down. And then we're gonna use the rest of the cheese.
Um, you're washing your hands constantly as you cook. Okay. Mainly when I cook, just for me and my family, I just keep washing my hands. Some people like to wear gloves. Me, I like to feel my food. That's how I was learned. Taught how to cook. Um, everybody should be washing their hands anyways before COVID. <laughs> I'm like, all this stuff they're having us do should have already been done, but whatever. If it makes everybody else do it more who didn't used to do it, down for it. I haven't been vaccinated yet. I'm going to um, very, very soon. My insurance is going to take care of it. And a lot of places are doing it free, so. All right, I'm, I want a little bit more cheese on the top. Um, it's looking like I don't have any. Let's see what this is. Mm. Monterey Jack. Okay, right, we'll just, we'll try this. <laughs> this is a mixture of like Monterey Jack and cheddar. I'm only gonna use a little bit for just coloring on the top. Okay, and then, and then we take our milk and egg and pepper and salt mixture, pour it all in, okay, all around. Pour it all in here. Okay. And then lastly, what you do, I was using this knife, so hold on. You take some butter. Y'all, this is not your everyday kind of eating food, okay? Mostly you guys see me cooking keto and stuff like that. But I told you I would do my finger licking, Harita's finger licking fried chicken. Harita's finger licking fried chicken. Like a spanga licking fried chicken. Okay, I cut up some butter. I cut up five. Put it um, one little slice in each corner. One in the middle. Oops. Middle. And then I like to put a little bit more black pepper on the top. Ugh. This thing is just. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it in the oven. This is what it looks like. And it's going to go in this oven right now for, it's on 375 for about 30 minutes. So put it in. Let it cook. And then I'll start on the fried chicken. Okay, so I have this on high heat. And I'm going to add the vegetable oil. It's party wings, so you don't really need much oil. Um, vegetable oil is a good oil to use to fry because it just uh, makes the skin uh, extra crispy. So I added about that much. I'd say half this bottle. And so now for the chicken. So while that oil is heating up, Remember we had our wet seasoning. Make this down lower. Whew. Let's do it like that. And then we had our dry seasoning. And then we have the chicken. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to coat the chicken in this stuff. So start with the wet. Okay. And then put it into the dry. Now I have a plate, I'm gonna put it aside. Cause I want the oil really hot. Cause it kind of shocks the, the chicken and the skin and it still cooks all the way through. So go in the wet, go in the dry. Get it in there real good, put it aside. Waiting on the oil to get hotter. And you're just gonna keep repeating this. Ooh, I can see this oil getting hot. You want the oil to be popping. Popping at you. Said my oil be popping. I'm gonna get a little bit more of the dry seasoning. I need this coated. 
Oh, it's getting there. Let me show you guys. Ooh. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. So, just go ahead and put it in there. See? That's what you want. That's what you want. Maybe even hotter, you know? And then just keep with this. Oops. Oopsie. I'm gonna get more dry season, finish the rest of the chicken, and then I'll show you the frying process. Let it fry. Put aside a plate with a um, paper towel on top so that when it's done, you can put the done ones on here and then finish the other ones. Okay, so that's still frying. I added some butter and green beans, salt and pepper. And then this is still cooking. I want it to be crispy on the top. So we're, we're going, we're going. We're almost done. These ones are almost done and I'm ready almost for the second batch. But I like my extra crispy, so does my family. So I'm gonna keep this in here long, but now you get an idea what the batter is looking like. Mmm. Papa's and KFC ain't got nothing on the hell of these peas. So it's gonna be so ono, ono kind grinds by ono kind grinds. That's the Hawaiian slang for like, it's gonna be some good food. Don't mop them up. That means you're gonna eat every piece on your plate. <laughs> got the second batch in. This is the first batch. Nice and crispy. You hear that? So good. And me and my family like to eat it with this. But a trick, if you like yours like buffalo style, you can toss it in some buffalo sauce or whatever seasoning you want. Still got the green beans going and the mac and cheese is still cooking. I like it. everything crispy. My family likes everything crispy. Mmm. You hear that? Mmm. I'll be back. So, take the oil off the hot burner, let it cool down. And this is what we got. Haritas finger licking fried chicken. And now I'm just waiting on the mac and cheese. I want it browner on the top. The finished product for the mac and cheese, you guys. Miss Mackin lip smacking Harita mac and cheese. I know, Miss Mackin lip smacking Harita mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. So, Tater, will you help me? Just hold this while I cut it. I want you guys to see the inside. Oof, you know. So you don't really need much. Hold on. Just get it on there. Mm -hmm. Not me. Nope. There. Auntie Fee. All right. <laughs> she was such a funny lady. I think she died. She did die, but let's not talk about sad stuff. Yeah. She was one of my favorite YouTubers. You guys should still go check out her page, Auntie Fee, because her son Tavis runs it now who was the one that filmed her in the first place <laughs> pissing her off okay yeah you would piss her off and she would be like yeah, no. <laughs> i've seen it she's hilarious funny i like to cut it in squares you guys i'm gonna leave my mom the corner she really likes the corners so so you see how that butter made the the outside oh my mouth is watering my mine too <laughs> okay here get this okay you see that cheese? Shit, yeah, dude. Put it right there. Creamy. <laughs> Creamy feels. <laughs> skin, you guys. Mm. Put your skin on your skin. Ooh. <clears throat> and that's the mac and cheese. And then um, get you a couple of ooh, ooh. A couple of these wings. Ooh, look at that. Put some hot sauce on it. <laughs> yeah, it's not complete with that ale hot sauce. Put some hot sauce on <laughs> it. Go get you your favorite dipping sauce. Mine's usually ranch or blue cheese. Mm. I just made some green beans because I always like some kind of green vegetable with all my meals. Mm -hmm. Just something we do as a strong black family. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> let me get a fork. Okay. Watch as my dog begs. <laughs> so we're gonna do the mac and cheese first. Okay. Mm, I know you're gonna tear this up. 
Yeah, you bet. Mm. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> mm. Now hold on, y'all. This chicken is crispy. Mm. <laughs> mm. Don't mm. play with me. Please <laughs> subscribe to my channel, um, Dreda Streeter, and then my Instagram at Dreda Vibes with a Z. One word. Mm. Yeah, subscribe to her. Yeah, and tell me in the comment section below what you want me to cook next. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry.